I can't take it. It's rightfully yours, Diana. You sent the story in and made the alterations. I certainly wouldn't have sent it, so you have to take it. I'd like to see myself. It wasn't any trouble, Anne. The honor of being the best friend of the prize winner is enough for me. I'm so glad for your sake. I think you're the sweetest and truest friend in the world, Diana. I will buy your wedding gift for this. You dare spend it all on me. I got a letter today from our dear old teacher, Miss Stacy. She's head of the King's County Board of Education in New Brunswick. What a promotion. Well, apparently, there's a position she has recommended me for at a ladies' college in Kingsport. How flattering. You wouldn't actually leave, would you? No, but I ought to apply anyway. She's gone to all this trouble, and I would Stop, Diana! Anne! You'll ruin your dress in that muddy field! Ruin it! elegant and illustrious Miss Shirley. Uh, relaxed while seeking out ideas for her next rolling reliables writing assignment, I presume? Well, do you suppose I'm here to chat with the bullfrogs? Be a gentleman. It would have been better off selling her last month when Dad offered to buy her. Well, I'll sell Dolly to him right now if he wants her. <laughs> <laughs> you may have our darn jersey anytime you want her, Mr. Blythe. Well, this very minute, for that matter. <laughs> Done! I'll give you the $20 I offered before. Gil can drive her over to Carmody right now. She'll go to town with the rest of the shipment this evening. I promised Mr. Reed of Brighton, New Jersey. <laughs> One more I'll say. She won't care. Dolly was my cow, anyway. It's not likely she'll bring more than $20 at the auction. When Rachel sees this field, she'll know Dolly was loose. And I'll be over this afternoon with your $20. Well, it's taught me a lesson not to stick my word of honor on cows. <laughs> <laughs> 